it's so good to be doing this lesson with you again and uh, to be you know going further in the Course in Miracles workbook lessons and we're at lesson 289 <clears throat> and lesson 289 is the past is over the your past your past is over your past is over the past is over it can touch me not it can touch me not the past is over it can not touch me your past is over it cannot touch you unless the past is over in your mind unless the past is over in your mind the real world must escape your sight you will not see the real world of love unless you let your past go in order to see the real world of love let your past go because when you're focused on the past do you know you are really looking nowhere when you're focusing on the past you're only seeing what isn't there when you're focused on what's gone you're seeing what's not there how can you then perceive the world forgiveness offers how can you see the world that correct perception offers right now if you're looking at the past the past was made to hide the real loving perception of the world because the really forgiven loving world can only be seen when you are only looking on right now is when you can see the real world is right now the real world of love <clears throat> the real world of love has no past for what can be forgiven but the past what can be <clears throat> what can be let go of but the past what can you let go of but the past what's gone what else can you let go of except what's gone and if it is forgiven it means it is gone father mother god let me not look upon the past that's not there let you not look upon the past that's not there because god has offered you god's own replacement for the past in a present world the past has left untouched and free of sin. A world that the past is gone, that's the end of guilt. Letting go of the past, forgetting your past, is the end of guilt. Because by letting go of the past, here are you made ready for your final step. You, you, are, you are now ready for your final step you're now ready for your final step if you have let go of your past. Shall you demand that God wait longer for you? Are you demanding that God wait longer for you? That you want God to wait more for you? A little bit longer for you? For you? Do you want God to wait longer for you? Shall you demand that God wait longer for you to find the loveliness that God planned? that loveliness <clears throat> be the end of all your dreams which means God wills that loveliness be the end of all your pain the past is over it can touch me not I like to put it more personally my past is over it cannot touch me your past is over. Your past cannot touch you. Listen to me now. What's gone is gone. And if it's gone, it cannot touch you right now. If it is over, it can't touch you right now. If it's not here, it can't touch you right now. So your past is over. It can touch 
you not. So listen to this. Your past is over. It can touch you not. Your past is over. It can touch you not. Your past is over. It can touch you not. Your past is over. It cannot touch you. Your past is gone and it cannot touch you. Your past is gone and it cannot touch you. Your past is over and it can't touch you. Your past is over and it can't touch you. Your past is over and it can't touch you. It can't touch you. Your past can't touch you. Your past is over and it cannot touch you. The past is over. It can touch me not. This is this is Earl Raj Purdy. Check out my classes on audio and video at my website, EarlPurdy.com. That's EarlPurdy.com. And let peace extend from my mind to yours. And remember, your past is gone. It's gone. It can't touch you. Hello, man, mighty companions, companions. This is Earl Raj Purdy. And I'm going to do review uh, seven, the master theme seven, which is what is the Holy Spirit? What is the Holy Spirit? We constantly hear the term Holy Spirit in A Course in Miracles. What is the Holy Spirit? Well, the Holy Spirit, do you know that the Holy Spirit mediates between illusions and the truth? The Holy Spirit is the part of your mind that mediates between what's true and what's false. Since the Holy Spirit must, the Holy Spirit must bridge the gap between reality and dreams, Perception leads to knowledge through, through the grace that God has given the Holy Spirit to be his gift to everyone who turns to him for truth. Across the bridge that the Holy Spirit provides, <clears throat> across the bridge that the Holy Spirit provides, our dreams all carry to the truth, to be dispelled before the light of knowledge. There are sights and sounds forever laid aside, and where sights and sounds were perceived before, forgiveness has made possible perceptions tranquil in. Do you know that the goal of the Holy Spirit's teaching, the goal of your loving right mind's teaching, the Course in Miracles defines the Holy Spirit as your loving mind, your loving right mind. So the goal of the loving right mind's teaching the goal of the Holy Spirit's teaching, the goal the Holy Spirit's teaching sets is just this end of dreams, the end of false ideas. For sights and sounds must be translated from witnesses to fear to witnesses of love. What you see and what you hear must be translated from something that witnesses fear to something that witnesses love. <clears throat> and when this translation from fear to love is entirely accomplished, learning has achieved the only goal that it really has in truth. When your perception is changed from a fearful perception to a non-fearful perception to a loving perception, then the Holy Spirit's goal has been achieved. The voice for God's goal inside of you has been achieved. For learning, as the, love, as the Holy Spirit guides it, learning, as the voice for God guides learning, is... <clears throat> for learning as the Holy Spirit guides it to the outcome Holy Spirit proceeds for learning, learning becomes the means to go beyond learning, to be replaced by eternal truth. Learning is the means that you use to go beyond learning until you get to the eternal truth. If you but knew how much your Creator yearns to have you recognize your innocence, if you but knew how much your Father yearns that you recognize your sinlessness, you wouldn't let God's voice appeal in vain. You wouldn't turn away from God's replacement for the fearful images and dreams you've made. If you but knew how much your father yearns to have you recognize your innocence, you would not let his voice appeal in vain, nor turn away from his replacement for the fearful images and dreams you've made. The Holy Spirit, the loving right mind in you, the voice for God in you, understands the means you've made by which you would attain what is forever unattainable, which is permanent separation. And if you offer everything that you've made, to the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit will employ the means you made for exile. The Holy Spirit is going to use the things that you have used to hurt yourself to restore your mind to where your mind truly is at home. From knowledge, which is where the Holy Spirit has been placed by God, <clears throat> the Holy Spirit calls to you. 
the Holy Spirit calls to you to let forgiveness rest upon your dreams. That's the same as saying letting correct perception rest upon all of your false perceptions. Let correct perception rest upon all your false perceptions. The Holy Spirit wants you to be restored to sanity, and sanity is peace of mind. Without forgiveness, will your dreams remain to terrify you? Without correct perceptions, will your false ideas remain to terrify you? And the memory of all your father's love and the memory of all of your creator's love will not return to signify the end of dreams has come, the end of fear has come. Accept your father's gift. Accept your creator's gift. Your creator's gift is a call from love to love that love but be loved. The Holy Spirit is God's gift. The Holy Spirit is God's gift. The voice for God within you is God's gift. So the Holy Spirit is God's gift by which the quietness of heaven is restored to you, God's beloved son, you, God's beloved creation. Would you refuse to take the function of completing God? Would you refuse to take the function of, of completing happiness? Would you refuse to take the function of completing happiness when all God wills is that you be complete in happiness? All God wills is that you be complete in happiness. So what is the Holy Spirit? The Holy Spirit is the part of you that mediates between what's true and what's false. The Holy Spirit is the part of you that has to bridge the gap between what's really true and what you've made up in your mind to be true. The Holy Spirit is trying to translate everything that you see that causes you any kind of lack of peace into something that only reminds you of love and brings you love. So accept the gift of the Holy Spirit. The gift of, is the, the Holy Spirit is the guide that God has given you that's inside of you that will bring you back to the love and the happiness and that peaceful, sane state of mind, that fun, loving state of mind that is your natural state. What is the Holy Spirit? is the Holy Spirit. Yeah.